Now, ABC model, probably, you know, the people who have undergone, you know, the, uh, the behavioral, what you can call the behavioral beha safety program, you know, the behavioral safety program, uh, behavior based safety program, you must be heard of that. There are A, B, and C. There are three words are there antecedent, the behavior, and the consequences. Antecedent is actually something that triggers the behavior. Now you see that, you know, the person on the same example, I am taking it antecedent. So what is the antecedent on that previous accident that I have just mentioned to you? What is that antecedent? Address behavior. Yeah, no, no. Antis what is antecedent? What is antecedent in that particular, you know, that accident case, what I had narrated? Over speed, sir. Yeah, over speed. Over but no, no, but that is over speed, correct? But that is not that part. But what has triggered that over speed? What has maybe he is delay delay yes. to reach yes. there. Right. Maybe he was delayed. Yes, very correct. Maybe he was delayed. So that has already gone on to his mind. So now if I do not drive fast, I will not be able to reach on time. So that one. So that is the antecedent. So that you know, delay or that is that delay is the antecedent which has triggered his behavioral change that to drive fast. So he has changed. So driving fast has become the behavior there. Now, after that behavior, what is the consequence? What is the consequence? On the same story, killed, on the same. He, yeah. killed, he killed the three persons. Yeah, he killed three members. He killed three members. So their fatality has occurred. So that is the consequence. So that behavior has caused the consequences very serious consequences, losing three lives, a fatality has caused. And what was the ultimate part of it? What, it? what do you remember what I said? They have killed three people. So ultimately what has happened? That person was taken into the custody no. by the police. The take person was taken into the custody by the police. Of course, naturally, there will be some criminal cases which will be lodged on him. So consequences, so antecedent, maybe some kind of a delay. It has changed the behavior. It has caused the behavior to drive fast. And then that act of his, that act of his behavior has really, and you know, consequent, the result of that particular one has become an, a fatality. And then he was charged by the police. Now, my question is, antecedent is triggering the behavior to act in a specific manner. And the behavior can give an outset, or it can give an outcome, it can give a result, and it can give a consequence. But now, whether is there any possibility or the effect of that behavior continuing? Now, here in the same sentence, the same scenario, I'm just asking, you know about A, B, C, you know about the consequences and he has already been told and he has been picked up by the police. So whether it may change the behavior of that guy? After the case is over, it may change. Yes. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Definitely. Definitely. Very correct. Because definitely his behavior towards driving may change. It is likely to change. Let us not say 100%, but it is likely to cause a change on the behavior. So what is actually, what is actually causing a change on the behavior? Is it the antecedent or is it the consequence? Consequence. consequence. It is the consequence. It is the consequence, but not the ant antecedent can trigger a behavioral change, but the consequence can lead to maybe an improvement on the behavior. It can lead to a behavior in the you need to a change in the behavior. That is what is the behavior. So behavior changes. So whether can you see this behavior? <clears throat> can you see the behavior? Yes, we can see the behavior. We can notice the behavior. We can observe the behavior. So we all can see. You can also see that what is a how a person is reacting to some kind of you know an argument, some kind of a talk, some kind of a discussion. You can see how vehemently he is opposing that. 
so you can see have the expression on the face so previously he was sitting very coolly on the meeting table but suddenly when a point was raised by the management and the consultant and the client over there said no mr my dear no mr albert you did not do the job properly that was the reason for that so suddenly this albert the project manager he becomes really violent and he starts talking in a yelling in a manner which is not fitting that particular meeting occasion so the behavior has changed because he started you can see everything on the face so you can see the change on the face you can see others can see the change others can notice the change others can observe the change that so behavior is noticeable behavior can be seen behavior can be seen also so antecedent is something which is triggering the change in behavior and the consequences has got a big effect on the behavior consequence has got a big effect on the behavior so are you clear about abc now <clears throat> what do you think are you clear about abc yes yes sir yes yes, sir. yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, uh, my huh. question is: antecedent can be varying in different times. Yes, it can be depending Ant upon the yeah, yes. dependent on the various circumstances. It can vary. Antecedent can vary. Yes. Okay, sir. Yes, it can vary. Antecedents trigger the behavior, and behavior what we can see it is the human performance, and then consequences. Yes, you know you can also see the outcome. of that behavioral change it is the outcome of the behavioral change which can either reinforce or punish because maybe sometimes that particular behavior may be going on you know thinking in a better way or sometimes you know you are going to punish the behavior as so that is the consequence on that now antecedents they are the which i said trigger is the activator they are also called as the activator so that is the activator that is actually causing a change on the behavior of the people that is called as a stimulus stimulant so that is changing see now you take coffee you take coffee normally some of the people prefer you know black coffee and there is no i mean they also do not add also sugar onto that you are most of you may be taking sulaimani the tea without adding milk and also no sugar so it is just plain tea but now you add a stimulus that is you add sugar then you can see the difference in the taste of that sugar uh, on the on the sulaimani tea or the coffee you add milk at another stimulant and then you can see the change that can happen to a normal coffee so that stimulus so when you take such kinds of you know adding up some of the ingredients then it changes or it causes a change a change in the behavior of all the people you people always used to say if you take you know black coffee then your sleep also can get delayed so people who are staying late night after the working hours or maybe for studies whatever you know they also take and sip you know black coffee or black tea why because that is acting on the brain to change you know or a delaying your sleep cycle so there is a stimulus that is an activator without that probably you may be feeling okay i would like to sleep at 11 o'clock in the night i don't want to sleep because that is my normal time but supposing if you go on doing on that and then you adding up coffee or watching a very entertaining tv program there are lots of tv programs are there now lots of thing i like seeing the comics the mickey mouse oh no, I, i like seeing the tom and jerry comics <laughs> i even today i like reading that even right from the college days i used to see that one even today i really still enjoy and even if at 11 o'clock if there is a tom and jerry which is being shown which is being put up on the television or even on your own what you can call the you know the laptop systems i still enjoy it so i may delay it i may not be sleeping at 11 i may be sleeping up at around 11:15 or 11:30 that is a stimulus that is changing the behavior so that is something which is added to you as a stimulant to change the behavior and then antecedents only set the stage for a behavioral change but they are not controlling 
because once you know you get into that sometimes it become very difficult also to control that also please understand on a very serious meeting you have got the board you have got the director you have got the clients and then you know the project manager and his team of people are sitting across discussing about the various delays that is occurring and then at that moment when the client starts pumping in and bombarding with questions that why this particular project is getting delayed your project manager is inefficient or something like that is some kind of a slip of the tongue also it can happen but you know it is not happening the people are not you know efficient on that then naturally the project manager he will get wild and then he will start reacting in a different manner than maybe around half an hour earlier so that is the stage of a behavior so the antecedent or the activator set by the client about the delay in the in the process of execution delaying the project that is setting the stage for a behavioral change for the people so they cannot control it antecedent doesn't control but antecedent set the stage. so this is this is actually the antecedent part a b c a antecedent 